All my niggas know what I go through. Uh -huh. Trying to turn change into dollars like phone booths. I'ma make money, what the fuck is you gon' do? You don't believe in gangsta, run up if you want proof. Only God can judge me the day I'm dead and gone. In the cemetery, still the block will be my second home. Where opportunity you turn into to me, the goon of me will ruin me. But Mace I ain't here. <laughs> Welcome to the show. One thing you mentioned to me is that one of your biggest regrets at that time was that you fell out of touch with Cam. Yeah. All right, and that because, you know, back in the day, Mace and Cam, they were teammates together, they were best friends, always together. And what had happened? And it was cut to the chase. Well, actually, one thing happened, and I'm going to be straight to the point. We were actually in, in, I think it was Hit Factory, and I did this song with Cam called Horse and Carriage. Everybody knows it. Mm -hmm. I did this song, and then, you know, I asked him that, you know, that I be paid for, for doing a video and doing a song with him. He took it so personally? So I was telling Cam, you know, either you get the money or I get the money or we split the money. But being that we're some young dudes from Harlem, we're going to get this money and we're not going to let, you know, these guys from the Brooklyn take the money. Because mm -hmm. me and Cam, we played basketball together. We cried when we lost together. I knew him when he had the flat top. You know, he knew me when I had the ball head. We was, you know, 110 pounds. So we knew each other way, way back. So it was really like I helped him get his deal. I got him his deal. I got him the 600 that he first had, you know. So a lot of things was that, that I've done. Was that with The Rock or was that with Epic? No, that was with, that was with on, Undias. On, on so Epic. at that time, I took him to Big House, got him his deal, you know. Brought him on the road with me, paid him and Jimmy Jones to go on do shows with me. I think me. I figured I figured you out, Mace. I've, I've been trying because I, I, yeah. I, I I can't see. Let's what you get need to the game. meat of it. Yeah. Are uh, Are you coming back to get the people's air so you can expose some of the things that are going on in the industry and some of the things that are even going on in Bad Boy and the record labels and and just people in general? Is is you are intelligent. Man. Yay! You are intelligent. He's it right. took all of these conversations for somebody to actually get it. He's right. Until I have the people voice mm -hmm. and I'm in they their are. ear, I have nothing to say to them. If I would come back just preaching to them with them not seeing me for five years, they would run away right. from me. Well, aren't you fearful of your life if you expose something mm -hmm. that you're not opposed to? And I mean, yeah. dudes are dying out there. Like, they will kill you. Well, actually, I can't be killed. <laughs> Why can't you be killed? Why? I can't be killed. I mean, just like you have somebody that walk around with all type of protection and guns and police and CIA. Big huh? shout out to G Unit. I mean, I have, I have, I have like angels all around me. Nothing could happen to me. I don't wear no bulletproof vest. I don't need no police. Can't nobody do nothing to me. Jim Jones is on the phone. You want to talk? Yeah, I would love to talk to him. Bring him up in the room. Hello? 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 Good morning. Good morning. How are you? What's up? Nothing much. Mace is here. You wanted to speak to him? I want, I want, yeah. What's happening? Where you at? Right here. Yeah, Jimmy, you're on the line. What's you're what's on up? live. I heard you're on live. talking foolish early this morning. Who talking why, foolish? Why you don't tell the people the truth? What's tell them the truth book? about what? Let's start with the book. You was fabricating the book. What's hey, fabricated about the book? My man publish your money. I don't you own some money. You're telling saying people's name all in your book. Second of all, we, we went on the road with you, yeah, but we left because you wasn't giving us no money, so we went and got money. And right now, we the scissor boys. Call the billion. You ain't heard? That, I wasn't Bessa, giving y'all money. you on the line, Bessa? Yeah, that's me that on the line. That's you, Bessa? Yeah, Where's that's you? me on the line. Where, you, you already know why you left Harlem. R.I.P. Baby Man and R.I.P. Pop Lottie. That's why you left Harlem. You ran up out of there, Beffa. I moved your from Harlem before at? that. Did you have a congregation in Atlanta? Did you leave your congregation down there? Or did no, you sir. No, Which sir. one, Beffa? Because you're saying that this is me. I don't care what you say on the radio. This is me. I know you. I know don't, you too, don't, sir. Don't play with me, brother. Ain't nothing changed. You know. I put you in my goofy category. Off with your goofy. Don't play with me, man. Ain't nothing changed. God forgive Jimmy. What, what happened with, tell the people what happened with Lottie. Did Lottie escort you out of Harlem before? Who's all right, I need to find out. Huh? Who's, who's wow. these, who are these people that were, who are Baby these? Baby made a pop Lottie. Ask him about that, Miss Jones. Ask him why Who are Harlem. they, Mace? They actually, they actually, they actually two guys that passed away because Where of foolishness. Listen, where's all out They got killed over jewelry? Where's yeah. 
Not, that, not actually over Jerry. What happened to the belly? Didn't they have some money on you back in the day about some, about some chains and... Don't play, man. You Who know had it's money us, on man. Goon cool squad. Don't play Goonie Goo Goo. So somebody... All right, so wait, Jenny. So somebody was after Mace. Why are you saying Mace left Harlem? They got Mace Nobody was after me. Nobody was after me. Nobody was after me. And you know me. what? He need to be nervous to be in Harlem still because I'm here. Feel me? And that's why I got a meeting early this morning. I'm on the way downtown too, so I'll be in the area. I hope you got some of them boys with badges or something because I will do it to you, Duke. You dig ain't nothing changed, man. I Jimmy. don't like you. You should have not came here and opened your mouth about camp. You should have just kept doing your music and, and preaching. Go get a congregation. Smell me? I'm going to wow. meet you on the way to church because that's my album. On the way to church, that's wow. my album. I'm going to meet you on the way there. Smell me? Jimmy. Word. And, I, and, and, and you already know what it is, man. Don't play with me, Beffa. Smell me? It's going to be hard for you partying. I forgive smiling. you, sir. You smiling? Ain't nothing funny, man. I put some dentures in your mouth, boy. You smell me? And I'm talking tough because I do talk tough and I do do tough things. Smell me? Wow, they know me you here changed, now. You've been going a long time. Smell me? Don't play with us, brother. It's Dipset for real. Burger game. Swerve on you. Y'all know? Wow. This is a real right. oh. Right. Oh. Oh. Right. Oh. Go back there and oh. tell the congregation to preach. Go get your wife a kiss. Go get some kids, baby, because this is the wolf territory. You heard? We out of here. Goony Googles. Goony, baby. Call me one eye Willie. Jim Jones. Couple status. Album in stores. August 24th. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the same day? Wow. August 24th. Welcome back. This is the Thrillerhiphop.com. If you just tuned in, Jim Jones just called and said some things to Mace. A lot yeah, of things. It's actually, you know, like even in a book, when you write a book, you write things from your perspective. I said what actually I believe to be truth to me, you know. Even from the things in Harlem, I'd already had a place in Atlanta, mm. you know, so nobody made me leave. You know what I'm saying? I, I even addressed that in a record. A lot of things happen can I just people say something? get killed in Harlem all day, you know, like even when, when a friend of mine named Lottie got killed, it, it really had nothing to do with a chain. A chain was the, the end result of the beginning of it. One dude got cut my boy Lottie got cut so that started the problem it was not a chain that was taken what started he got cut then a chain was taken then he went to get the chain back and a lot of things that transpired from that and you know I tr I took Lottie with me to Atlanta he got born again and mm. I told and I told him don't go back to New York let's just chill man let's just have a different life cause you know people grow up and people mature man it's like what they talking about is nonsense, man. I, I really don't have no time for that. I you saw know? you behind the scenes just now when we were after the phone call. You yeah. were praying. I was praying actually for Jimmy because he you know, you know I, I love them dudes. And it's just it's just sad when when people don't understand. Cam you know? is on the phone actually now. Do, would you like to take that call privately? Yeah, or? I would, I would, I mean however you would like to talk. I just don't want to talk about no nonsense, you know, like I want to know how people doing, how their family doing. Yo. Good morning. How you doing? Yo, what up? What up? Yo, I'm just saying, why are you talking about 50000 you was going to split and we was going to Cancun? Like, just tell the truth. Like, I didn't talk about, like, you, me and you split and 50000 no for Cancun. There was no split money involved. And no, then I on didn't top of that, you just called me last week and asked to do an album together. You ain't say nothing about that, did you? That's not the question I was oh, asking. All right, you said what's up with you and Cam. Tell them how you called my phone last week and said you want to do an album with me. Which would actually be a good look. People, I said the people that Sony wanted to do an no, album. No, you didn't that's say that. You're question. lying. See, that's why I can't talk to you. You said let's do an album. You got a deal. We all call it blah, 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 whatever. I'm just not into like, the lies. I'm not I don't all have... the and crazy. I'm just into the truth. And that's it. Like, you talk about this, you know. I only thing you did, yes, you took me to Big House and you broke out on everybody and left. And that's what you're going to do again. I'm not stupid. Like, that's what you do. You feel me? So I'm just saying, like, just tell the truth. If you're going to talk about something, tell the truth. Don't talk about 50000 in Cancun and we's going to split it. And you said this is business. None of that occurred. None of that happened. Well, actually, he said that there was $50,000 he was asking you for to appear in the horse right, and carriage but, video. Me That's and him never discussed anything. That may have been true. Me and him never had a verbal conversation about any of that. 
So at the end of the day, my thing mm. is, when you left, we did what we had to do. We got it pop. You come back and say what you want to say and lie about it. Like, you talk about business. Where's the publisher for putting people name in the book? You put people name in your book and tell people business. Like, you don't need, like, people what they business out there. If you want the truth, read your own book. Hmm. How about that? And then they'll tell you what's the truth. I read, I read some of your book and they got somewhat the truth. But business is business. Where's my publisher? You can't put people's name and lives and so on and so forth without authorization. You can? That's business. Can you get, so you get sued for that, I guess. You can, but I wouldn't take it there because I'm not a chump like that. You feel me? But yeah, I could take it to that point if I want to get my lawyers involved. I could, they already asked me about that, and I said, no, nah, I'm not on it like that. But at the end of the day, you're talking business this and business that. I, we made a quote, like, let me tell you something. As far as mo the most business done, we're going to make $150 million off liquor by December. That's business. All this music and y'all running around, hype to come back and music. No, music is whack. That ain't even no real money. I just do it because I'm nice. You feel me? So at the end of the day, I just want you mates to sit back and tell the truth, brother. You know, I wish you the best. All I said was about 50000 Conversation about that. I'm not saying you didn't. I didn't you say that. I had me this you conversation about no with you. Cool trip that you just said. Me and you never talked about no way. It. Me and you never you had a misunderstood what you heard. So for you to sit up here and lie, that's a lie, and you're a reverend. Kim, you're a reverend we didn't. On the radio telling we lies. didn't. We didn't talk about <laughs> no. No. You're no you're lying, yo. We and said that the people at the record company you will take the money and go to Cancun. You said rap is the devil when you're rapping. When did he say that? At his, at his speech at the church. At his church, when he, when he does his speeches, rap is the devil with blah, blah, blah. I saw it on tape, and you're rapping. It's on tape. Mm. Do you feel that way, that rap is the devil? No. Not oh, actually. my God. Cam, <laughs> no, can you hold I'm on a second? Here. Go get Jim Jones out of him. The reverend's lying up there, man. I wish you the best wow. of luck, though. You have a beautiful career and a beautiful life, baby. Stop lying. Wow. Well, actually... And in defense of the statements Cam made, I believe you did say that you guys, when he came to you to ask you to appear in the video, yeah. you asked for $50,000, yeah. and you guys had even discussed, or you had told him, yeah. you got to pay me, because if you don't pay me, they've already allotted that money at your um, at your label. It's going to go to somebody at the label. And so that actually, I never said that me and him was going to Cancun. What no, no, I no. actually you didn't said say You said someone at the they, label they was going to take the money. They it. To go to Cancun, right? But they you did say that you guys, but you did say that you guys, that you talked to him and said, man to man, we could even split the money. Yeah, after the problem, that. we did talk about that. I mean, when people are people are like, I'm, I cannot not express the truth and talk about things because they're sensitive. I don't have no problem with with Cam or with Jimmy. They make their money. I make my money. I don't have no problem with them. You know, I'm here for a total different cause. But, you know, just like, I mean, e even in the Bible, when the person knows that you come to say something that's powerful, they try to discredit your name first so that what you actually have to say will not be heard. So this is this is this is primary what always happens when somebody come to bring the truth because the truth get people angry it get people rived up and get people wanting to do crazy things you know? we're talking to mace this morning it's 9 25 <laughs> but my joy ain't going nowhere you know I'm, I'm still happy i'm still ecstatic i have a beautiful life and it's a blessing to be here and even to talk to the people